Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Lovelocks, and welcome to an early look at the early release version of World of Horror. And boy, does this look like a weird game to me, but it looks awesome. I've actually been looking forward to this one for a while because of its unique style. I'd like to thank uh, Pantage, and I know I'm going to mispronounce this because I don't know how to pronounce it. And Isbreed or Isbreed Games for the early copy to take a look at with all of you. And possibly if we're really enjoying it, I might uh, continue playing it as well. Um, let me just read the Steam description for all of you so we get a sense of what we have in store for us here in World of Horror. It reads, The old gods are reawakening, clawing their way back into a world that's spiraling into a mysterious madness. In a small seaside, seaside town of Japan, the population's sanity is dwindling, and otherworldly grotesque creatures terrorize those who call the place home. In World of Horror, it's the end of the world, and the only solution is to confront the terror reigning over the apocalypse. And it has this really cool one-bit aesthetic. Um, this is an early access title, so there could be bugs and weird stuff going on. As you can see, they're fixing stuff. Um, and the game does come out on February 20th, if you're interested uh, in checking it out. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff on here. And one thing um, I noticed, if you go to like, the options and you change... Um, you can go like to windowed, full screen. Oh, this, there's like this window here over on the right if you change the aspect, uh, the scale. So there's like some weird things going on probably in this game. Uh, display extra math, you can go full screen, extra UI information, I don't know what this stuff is. There's the uh, two bit display mode or one bit. I think we're gonna go with one bit. Um, you can change the color palette too. Um, I don't know, I don't know what's best. Oh, that's no good. That's not bad. I kind of like, um... Whoa, look at the... Damn, that's bright. I think this is the this is the original one. I think we're just going to stick with this, and uh, if you guys don't like it, intro allowed. Intro skipped. Huh. Wavy effect. I don't know what that... Oh, I see. You see in the background that, like, the, the earth, the... the the kind of like ground there is, is waving. Don't check for connect gamepads, okay. Toggle advanced options. So there's all kinds of, whoa, what was that? Oh, okay. There's all kinds of weird stuff going on here. It's got this um, old Mac look to it. Uh, there's a bunch of extras, achievements, bestiary, things like that. Uh, and also it looks like there's gonna be mod support as well. So this game is gonna be a living game. I haven't played it yet. You guys are seeing this for the first time, uh, just like me. Let's jump into World of Horror and see what it has to offer. Like, I don't know what to expect here. Let's go. Would you like to customize your next playthrough's look? There are many color palettes and display modes to choose from. Oh, I see. This is where it'll... Oh, I can randomize it, too. Let's just go with the, the original one. If, if it's your first time playing World of Horror, it is recommended that you start with the spine-chilling story of School Scissors option before trying more complex playthroughs. Spine-chilling story of School Scissors, a tiny section of a standard playthrough showcasing one of the available mysteries. We've got extracurricular activity. Uh, this option sounds like dating, like a dating sims music. Um. This option will prepare the standard playthrough for you, allowing you to start the game without worrying about in-depth stuff for now. Quick play, a tr uh, true chaos. This option will start a new playthrough, randomly selecting character, old god, background, and more. Customize the playthrough. Oh, cool. And that's the hardest. Choose your own character, background, and other uh, playthrough specifics. Let's just do the spine-chilling story of school scissors. <laughs> I think the writing is going to be really interesting in this game. City of Shiokawa, Japan, 198X. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. It's like we're just going through like a introduction. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. 
little tape. I like the little details. Very cool. I wonder what all this... I don't know what this means. Maybe it just says World of Horror, I don't know. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. The claw marks. Is that a hand? Oh, there's someone in the car there. Cool. I'm gonna soak up all these images. They're really neat. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. So you arrive by train. Whoa! <laughs> the story so far. Welcome to World of Horror. Important messages will appear down here. Okay. Uh, cauterize. Active rituals. No rituals active. Uh, we have 17 health, I guess, and 17 sanity. Oh, that's stamina. Strength 7, dex 35, personality 8. I don't know what FND is. Charisma 6, knowledge. I mean, this is like how good we are at finding stuff. Doom. Item, slot A, no weapon. Slot B, nothing. Slot C, nothing. Looks like we don't have much of anything at all. For level one, we have zero experience. So this is like a, it's like an RPG. No spells. Status. Looks like we're good, there's the options. Now what is, uh... Okay, let's close this. How do I get back to that? It said cauterize before. The story so far, okay. You've been following the weird cult for weeks now, barely surviving the encounter with the skin hag at the nursery. I mean, that's kind of like a standard Monday night for me. Um, it's a race against time and you can't rest until your own, till our town is safe. Combat tutorial. Uh, we'll put the combat tutorial on since it's my first time playing. Let's start the mystery. So it's like all these different stories that you can play. ABC. Oh, it says 1984, 31st of May. Spine-chilling story of school scissors. Another boy from your school has disappeared. Rumor has it a terrible woman has returned from the grave. A woman with the widest smile and the sharpest scissors. I feel like I'm constantly starting. Um, I'm constantly starting the investigation. You knew your friend was up to something when he left you his notebook full of cryptic notes. I can send her back where she belongs, he claimed. I wonder if I actually have to take notes for this. You know what? Let me grab a notebook here. Possible, because this looks like an old school game. It's possible I might actually have to take notes, uh, which I'm used to doing because I've been playing Virtue's Last Reward. And you do have to take, it, it is beneficial to take notes during the puzzles. So I do have a notebook here. That's exciting. I love that. After he disappeared too, you decided to study the notebook for clues. It details a ritual that could stop the wicked woman once and for all. What's the worst thing that could happen? What's this? It's a sign, I guess. Scissors. Let's investigate. The school is eerily quiet at this hour. Your missing friend has left you a notebook. If the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an eldritch sigil, and then the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. Storage, explore school, perform ritual, check out school lockers. What does it say? You started a new mystery. Spine chili story. Okay. Tells me what time, too. You can see what time I'm playing at. I guess we want to explore the school, right? To find um, these drawings? The candles? What is this? <laughs> I love it! Anatomy class. Resolve this event. School day. There's all kinds of world of horror base game. Okay, there's all kinds of stuff on the screen. 
<laughs> that I need to absorb. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. We lose one stamina? So it's it's kind of like just random stuff is going to happen to us, I guess. All right, 16. I wonder if this is like our grip on reality or like this is our sanity or how, how, how much of a grip we have on reality. Wait, doom 1%? Damn it. Plus chalk not found. Holy candles not found. Oh, so we need the chalk to draw the sigils and then we need the candles to light them. You feel like something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. I guess um, interacting with the image doesn't do anything. I have to keep exploring. So we went into this room, now we're going up the stairs. Oh no, a substitute teacher. Oh, look at the waviness. A tall woman with an unsettling face and twitching lips stops you. I'll be your new biology teacher. Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? She seems cool, let's help her. Luck check failure. Oh no, the creepy substitute teacher hands you dusty old biological specimens. The rancid smell of formalin almost makes you drop the jar. Should fetuses have so many legs? We lost another two stamina. Damn. Something evil stalks the empty school corridors. You found an additional page from your friend's diary. It seems that the blessed chalk was left in the pool. You must hurry and find it. Does that mean I can like pick to go peek outside? Let's peek outside. Um, I, I, I wish I could just pick to go to the pool. To open the door, click on the handle and drag the mouse with the mouse button pressed. Oh, shit! <laughs> Let's not go outside. Let's find that pool, I guess. You enter... Oh, okay. So I guess since we found the thing that leads us to the pool, that's the next thing that we go to. Dead man's float. You enter the damp-smelling sport wing. You notice a backpack drifting on a swimming board in the middle of the pool. Could it be what you were looking for? We have to enter the water. You enter the pool and start swimming towards the backpack. Suddenly the water turns murky and you realize you're not alone in the pool. Prepare for combat, okay. A bloated figure emerges from the murky water blocking your only way out of the pool. Hey, a new achievement has been unlocked. You've run into anatomy class, okay. Combat tutorial, oh, this is where we're fighting, nice. During each turn, you'll build a sequence of attacks and moves from the action ring. B. Uh, oh, B. Action ring is this thing. Where is it on the screen, though? Is it this? That looks like my inventory. Uh, once, you've, once you've filled the sequence bar, I guess that's this. Maybe they changed the way this looks. Um, once you fill the sequence bar C, press the launch sequence button to finish your turn. Launch sequence. Fill the combat sequence white bar with moves and click launch sequence to attack your enemy. Uh, kick, time needed at 55, attack without a weapon. Two damage, 55 t time, I guess. Base chance to hit 80%. I guess that's all I have is, is, is kick. Oh, this is, this is my offensive actions. Oh, I see. These would be different types of actions that we can do. Guess I'll just kick a bunch of times. Wait, you kicked the bloated teacher? Oh, it has 12 HP, minus two stamina damage, 20 power. Oh, hold on. Defines enemy stamina. Getting it to zero wins the encounter. After each sequence, enemies perform an attack draining your stamina. Reason or both. Oh, I see. So they're going to do... I'm going to take two stamina in damage after we do our uh, maneuvers. This stat... Uh, so power defines your chance uh, to successfully attack the enemy. The higher power, the harder it will be. Currently, your chance to hit is lower by 10%. Okay. What do we... Wait. Prepare your attack. Next attack is guaranteed to hit. Oh, we got more stuff this time. 
support actions. Wait, where did we get this stuff from? With, uh, with time, you'll discover new combat moves. I see. Available through the action filter. That's this stuff. But first, you need a weapon. Find and choose an action called look for an improvised weapon. Okay. Oh, damn. We found a branch. Blood teacher attacks you. So we're down to 10 stamina. Uh, look, a new item has appeared in the upper right corner that's your inventory. I like how it's just like, oh man, I, I like... I mean, I know this is early access, but like the glitchiness, the fact that the text goes past the box, it like just, it fits with the game. <laughs> Click it and find the equip highlighted button. Okay. Blunt one-handed strength, damage three, speed 90, chance to hit 70. Fast to equip. So we've got inspect, maybe not while we're in combat. Place the item in storage. Equip A, B. Why does it say A and B? Uh, fill the combat sequence white bar. So now we've got the weapon. So now we can probably attack with our weapon. Strong attack, 107 time needed. It does one extra damage, but I could attack twice. And then defensive actions. Meditate. Oh, regain one reason for two stamina. Dodge. Drastically lowers the hit chance for the enemy. Need 110 though. Don't have that much. Brace for impact. 125. Okay, let's go with um. I think I can get a kick in too. Turn four, wait, he looks down. You bash the bloated teacher. Bloated teacher disappears underwater. Oh, okay. Attack boost. Your next attack has additional 10% chance to hit. The effect stacks. So I guess what we'd want to do is either heal, which I don't think we can. One time use only needs stamina for reason. Stamina or reason to be lower than three. Oh. Spiritual actions. Clap. Part of a ritual. Most combat rituals are... Sorry, most combat rituals are a combination of five uh, bows and claps. Bows and claps. Even if you don't get it right, you'll be provided with a hint. Oh, bow and pray and clap. So some combination. Okay. Regain one stamina for two reason. Maybe we should uh, heal. We're gonna pray a couple times. Um, and then, guarantee we'll prepare an attack, and then we'll also do attack boost. Presuming he's gonna come up, yeah. Turn five begins. Okay. So now we're going to do strong attack. Strong attack and regular attack. <laughs> Boom. Yes. The victory music. Got to soak it in. Blessed Chalk found. You found Blessed Chalk, which you can use to draw the sigil in your ritual. You copy the sigil as best you can on the blackboard. Hopefully it'll be enough. Redraw sigil? One, two? Why is there two of them? So we're at six stamina. Huh. I guess I took a hit? Oh, I'm bloated. We've got... Wait. No, oh, we're bloated. We have a minor injury. Something is moving inside your stomach. I feel sick. Jesus. Can I do anything about that? What's this? One of four. Huh. Perform the ritual. I don't think we can do that yet. I think we need to keep exploring. So we need to find the holy candle still. 
investigating the schoolyard. Impossible angles and seemingly moving lines make your head spin. Stare in disbelief needs Ikumi ally. We can't do that. We have to stare in disbelief. Non-Euclidean 101. Charisma check. Success. How is this possible? We still lose one reason, even though we succeeded. That sucks. The sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. I mean, all I could do, really do is explore. Hearing footsteps behind you, you realize you're not the only student here. A girl wearing a demon's mask starts giggling as she's getting closer. <laughs> oh, it's a fight against the young witch. She's got 10 health uh, minus. So this is how much damage she's going to do to us. So we could take two hits. Uh, OK, shoot. Strong attack. Look for improvised weapon. Combat skill lowers your experience by five and raises your chance to hit by 10% for the rest of this encounter. I don't know what I need experience. Like, I don't know how much experience I need. Did it say? No. I mean, I'm not going to get a chance to use this to come back to life, probably because we're never going to be below three. It's going to be three and then zero. Um. Oh shit! Wait, where was Prey? Prey, okay, regain one stamina for two reason. Let's do this uh, a couple times. We'll take, we'll be able to take an extra hit this way. And then we're gonna... 69. Big hit. Yeah, okay. Oh, man. We prayed. We missed the attack. Young Witch stabs you with a box cutter. Damn. Brutal. Let's um, prepare our attack. It will go attack boost. Oh, I don't need that because I'm going to prepare the attack. That, that's a waste. I thought it increased my damage. Okay, let's do this. We lost three again. Shoot. She giggles after stabbing us with the box. Did we miss? Oh, we missed the second attack. That makes sense, I guess. Oh, geez. Seven, seven left. I feel like I need to uh, pray again. And then we'll uh, prepare our attack. We don't have enough time for this. Kick. Maybe I could do a defensive action. Dexterity base, 110 though. I don't have enough time for this stuff. Okay, so now I can do that special thing. Desperate struggle, time needed 40, one time use. Doubles all damage dealt during this turn. Okay, so then we can prepare our attack. That should kill them. I, I I hope they don't get an extra attack in. Wait, what's that? Oh, I got him. Or got her. You've defeated the young witch, plus six experience. The steak knife! I feel like I'm not doing so well, though. We're at two stamina and two reason. Oh, and we found the holy candle, though. You found the holy candles in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. Everything is ready for the ritual. Uh, but I'm gonna have to... F oh, let's equip the knife, first of all. 
I don't know. How do I do this? We need to go to our... Um, How do I equip the knife? Storage? Oh, steak knife, right. I click on that. Equip it, there we go. I don't know if that takes up time. And why, so why can't I equip the branch in B? Oh, I select B, maybe. Whatever, we've got the steak knife. That's that's all we need. What does it do? Sharp one-headed damage three, speed sixty. Chance to hit seventy. Ninety. Pass to equip. I think we're just gonna stick with the knife. Okay, let's perform the ritual. Wait, what's that? The sigil and holy candles don't seem to have any effect on the horrible monster. Had you drawn it wrong? Frozen in fear, you watch as the twitching horror gets closer and closer. It raises its enormous scissors and croaks. Am I beautiful? Prepare for combat. <laughs> Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? Oh, good God. Uh, okay, well, it does... It has 26 HP, and it does two damage uh, each time, so I'm basically gonzo. But uh, we'll fight We'll fight as well as we can. So, first of all, we could do this. Desperate struggle. I only have to do 26 damage. Big hits! Frozen in fear, you watch as she gets closer. Her sharp scissors are slowly cutting through your cheeks as she asks you. Am I beautiful? You are. You've perished. Cause of death, killed by the scissor woman. <laughs> I love it! Level one, difficulty level cultists. We had the Snake Knife, Incoming Doom, 5%. 23 minutes, 17 seconds. So this is the kind of game that you, um, it must be like all randomized and you run it a number of times. You didn't complete any mysteries. You saw four new events. You encountered three new enemies. You unlocked one new achievement. Final log entries. You missed the attack. Oh, this is the, the last stuff. The Scissor Woman stabs you. Your health dropped too low. You will die at the beginning of your next encounter. Oh, cool. It restarts. This is the intro sequence that you guys missed. Pantash. Um, let me go into the extras. Event codex. Non-Euclidean. Oh, look at all these different events. So there's 120 different events you can encounter, I guess. I wonder if there's like, um, oh, look at this. That's neat. I love the art. I wonder if there's um, like a larger game to this as well. Like a larger mystery, not just like, not just the individual uh, mysteries. Achievements. Pe uh, Peeking Tom. Meet a school wraith haunting the corridor. Unlocks Seal of Brahmel spell. So as you um, get achievements, you unlock spells that will make the runs easier. That's neat. How do I? Uh, oh, I, how do I look at these? I guess you can't click on the enemies because I when I mouse over, I can't. I can't go around. I can't go over and select it. So we met the bloated teacher, the scissor woman, horror, and the young witch. 
Pantheon. What? <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to be. Event editor. Mods have been temporarily turned off and will be coming soon. Uh, okay. I mean, they're just, it's releasing in early access, so that's not surprising. This is really cool. Let me know what you guys think. I think probably next time I would, um, I would probably put it in full screen. Oh, right, there's this monitor thing that you can play it like too. I guess I had turned that off accidentally. That's kind of neat. I don't know. I guess I prefer it without that, though. Because that way it feels more like you're in the game. Um, and then I would probably make it... Oh, 2-bit. Neat. So you can actually have, like, some color. I would probably go full screen, like this, for the next one. That's a lot to take in, though. Um, Let's turn... Let's put it back. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Would you like to see me uh, play some more of this? This is... Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I think it'd be fun to... Oh, and you can go in Japanese? Additional translations are still uh, a work in progress. Thank you for your patience. Oh, I guess, I guess... You might be able to play in Japanese and maybe they're working on additional ones aside from that. Um, I guess that's gonna be it for my first look at World of Horror. Let me know in the comment section what you think and whether or not you'd like to see me play more. Um, I'm also thinking there's a lot of games that I have that uh, developers have provided me keys with um, and I think I'm going to do a lot more of these luckless looks at in uh, the coming days because uh, I would like to take a look at some of these games that I've gotten and there's it's so much fun for me to play all these different games they're so cool especially a game like this which like brings me back to my gaming past playing games on the freaking the old one bit monochrome max that I used to we used to have all over the schools uh, that I grew up in Thank you so much uh, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This is Lockless Love Lock signing off for now, and I love you all.